Hi guys, my name is Tihani and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe so that you can join our little YouTube family. So today I am in my guest bedroom in my new house. It's slowly coming together. I mean, there's a bed in here, so that's good. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my personal experience with my first military move. I lived on base in Hawaii and we moved to Camp Pendleton in California, so... It was a new experience for me, so I thought I would document it and share what my experience was. If any of you out there are going to be PCSing or you're just curious, I have some little notes on my phone so I can kind of stay on track, but I'm not listing every single little detail or we'll be here for hours and none of us want that. So they told us it would take about 30 to 45 days for stuff to get to California. So we decided to move out three weeks early before we were going to be flying out. And this was our choice. We didn't have to move out that early, but I had family in Hawaii. So we thought we would just go stay with them, enjoy our last few weeks in the islands and save money. So that was nice. It's the night before the movers come. Do you have a video? Yeah. I didn't even do my makeup. <laughs> and we are out here doing things we hate. Yeah, I love this. These are our towels. Why? Because our washing machine broke the day before we have to move. So here's some more dirty clothes. I don't even want to show you downstairs because it is a mess. This is what we have going on. We just have a bunch of stuff here. We're pretty organized for the movers to come. We got rid of a lot of stuff. All that's in here is our couch and TV. Um, they're gonna be here any minute and we're gonna start packing up our first house. <laughs> look at this, look, look at a kid. Mom, put me in the picture. Oh, it's fun. Today we are moving out of our first home that we ever had. Come in the shot. What up? Hi. Oh, I need a mustache again. How do you feel about moving out of our first home? I just want to go to sleep. I'm sick. Yeah, he's sick. He's not feeling good. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So the movers came and all we had to do was make sure all of our stuff was off of the walls. They basically just came in and packed everything up for us, which was super nice. We didn't have to do anything. It's always sunny in Doucheville. I thought we didn't have a lot of stuff. I was wrong. And this isn't even all of it. The work came after they packed up all of our stuff because we had to clean. And we heard so many horror stories, basically, of people moving out on Marine Corps Base Hawaii and getting charged hundreds of dollars for it not being cleaned, for things like nicks and dings and stains and stuff like that. So we spent so long cleaning this house because we did not want to pay anything and yeah we could have paid someone to come and clean the house but we had cleaning supplies we're able-bodied and we had the time so we cleaned it ourselves the only place that we have to relax is on the stairs we've been cleaning for like four and a half five hours now and we only finished the downstairs in other news i locked us out of the house we always come through the garage, but we never lock this door. But for some reason, I decided to lock this door, and now we're locked out of the house. And now we don't know how long we have to wait until the people come to let us in the house. I've had a long time to think about what, what think? I've done. What do you think? I think we need to go clean some more. Yeah, you need to go clean. Enjoy this beer. Oh my gosh. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> it's the next day. We cleaned the entire house, bleached the floors, every nook and cranny, like it is spotless in here. We're not trying to get charged for anything. So it's really the last moments in our home. The movers came on Friday and then we took the weekend to clean. And then on Monday, we actually officially checked out of our house. We didn't owe anything, thankfully, and we went and officially checked out of our house. We're about to check out for real. Forever. 
I'm sure it's different for everywhere, but for us, Hawaii told us we could have five days to stay at a hotel, but we didn't do that because we wanted to just spend time with my family. They gave us tickets for a flight that they paid for and booked. Once we got to California, we were told we had 10 days covered to stay in a hotel. After 10 days, we would have to pay for our living accommodations ourselves. So, hotel accommodations. You can either stay on base or off base, but if you want to stay off base, you need to go on base to a hotel, get a letter that says they don't have an availability, and then you can stay off base. So we felt that we were going to get this letter, we wanted to stay off base, so we didn't make any reservations. But when we got here, we changed our mind and decided that we actually wanted to stay on base because it was just easier with all the things that we had going on. And we ended up having to move to five different hotel rooms, which was crazy. But thankfully, our last hotel room was beautiful and we stayed in that one for the last week and a half of our time at the hotels. So I'm really grateful for that. Well, now we're at hotel number four. So, we have some added things now. We hope this is our last hotel before we get our house because it is so tiring moving all of this stuff in a room, into the car, out of a room, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, hopefully we'll find out about our house soon. This fourth hotel is definitely the nicest one so far. We have all of our stuff everywhere. But it's just more relaxing. So if we have to wait a while for our house, this isn't too bad. Right when my husband got his orders, the first thing that I did was go online and look up what kind of housing options they had. So because it was our first move with the military, we decided to just go on base and they have six month leases or you can do more. But we thought that would just be the best option because if we wanted to move off of base later, we could. So housing on base goes by what you rate. So it's basically based on your rank and also how many dependents you have. The smallest bedroom option in Hawaii is a three bedroom home. However, the smaller bedroom option in Camp Pendleton is two bedrooms. So because Scott and I do not have kids, we rate a two bedroom. However, I really wanted a three bedroom. So I originally applied to the community I really wanted and it was three bedroom and you're supposed to have two kids to live in this community and I was denied. So I applied for a two bedroom community. However, I called and called and called and I found out that if I switched over to a older community, I had a better chance of maybe getting a three bedroom. And normally how it works is you get two home options. So they give you one address and if you don't like it, they give you another address. And if you don't like that one, you're back to the bottom of the list. So they told me because I really wanted a three bedroom and I don't rate a three bedroom, you just get a one time offer. So we got a three bedroom offer three months before we moved here. And when we got here, we were disappointed and there was some problems with the home. So Scott talked with the housing people and they were trying to see if they can work it out. And as we were driving back to our hotel, actually, I saw the community that I really wanted to live in that denied me the first time. And I thought, why not? We're already having problems with the other house. Let me just go ask. So I asked that housing office and it didn't sound too good because we were only supposed to get a one-time offer. We didn't have two kids, yada, yada, yada. Long story short, we ended up getting the house that we wanted, which I'm just so grateful for. Good morning, guys. Today is our first morning in our new Oh, half foot's up. I am super excited about it. The movers are going to be here any minute to move in our stuff. And I just did a little walkthrough of what it looks like. So later on down the line, I want to show it once we get it a little bit more cozy and homey and personalized. But I thought I would just show you what it looks like. And we're super happy about it because this is actually not the home we were supposed to get. It's bigger more updated upgraded just it's just better and i'm really happy about it and we love the community i thought i would do a quick little empty house tour before the movers get here so this is our little front porch area and when you walk in 
This is the kind of family room. That's what we're gonna make it. And then uh, right here is like the dining area and then the living room. And then to the left is the kitchen. And this is like our cupboard area. <laughs> My shoes are making weird noises. Um, and then out here is, oh yeah. This is our yard, which we're gonna make as homey as possible. It needs work right now. <clears throat> and then straight across this way is a little closet. And then we have the downstairs bathroom, another storage situation which is super nice and then in here is our laundry room we have to get our own washer and dryer which is not my favorite thing but that's okay and then this is our garage we got a two-car garage which is super nice and it comes with built-in storage And then let's go upstairs. So we love it. I can't wait till we get homey. So right when you come up, there's this little nook. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. This is actually the guest bathroom. It has double sinks in the guest bathroom, which is cool. And then this is guest room number one. And then guest room number two. And then across this way, we have upstairs linen closet. And this is the master bedroom. This and her sinks. This is our bathroom. And then we have a walk-in closet so yes I will show you guys the move in process since I showed you guys the move out process the movers came and delivered our stuff the movers brought everything in and unpacked everything for us this is what we have going on right now this room is basically empty because we didn't have an extra room before so all we have is a rug in there we checked if there was anything major that was broken or was an issue and everything worked out smoothly. The only thing is we didn't have them unpack our kitchen because I really wanted to wash all of our dishes again because it had been sitting in a box for over a month and all of our clothes because we sold our master bedroom set and didn't have any drawers yet so I just figured I'll do that myself later. And that was about everything. Now we are just transitioning into our new home and life. We love our neighbors, we love our home, and we're slowly making it more and more homey. I would say it's about 70% unpacked, but like 55% done to where I would want it to be. I know I'm gonna never feel like it's fully done, so I'll just have to get over that, but I will show you guys when all the rooms are not empty. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified the next time I make a post. Bye guys!